Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video from the news playlist. In this video, we will work on the details screen. I know that I said we will work on the room database in the previous video, but to just follow the repository on GitHub, we will work on the details screen. And let's actually start doing that. So let's go to the presentation layer. And here, let's create a new package and call this details. Then let's create a new package here and call this components. And in here, we want to create a new function or a new composable function called details top bar, which is going to have the navigation button and the three options, the bookmark, op the bookmark option, the share option, and the browsing option. So let's actually create that and call this details top bar. Let's create the same composable function for this file. Okay, so in here on a browsing click, on share click, on bookmark click, and on back click. And to create this top app bar, we can just use the top app bar composable function. For the title, we cannot keep that empty. Now let's just add the modifier here, fill max width. I think we need to add the experimental annotation. In here, we want to pass the colors. Let me format that into new lines. So for the colors, we can use top app bar default. And let's choose the medium app bar colors. So for the container color, we want to make this transparent because uh, we'll just take the same color of our parent composable and then the action icon content color, this will be body color. So color resource, body. let's import R here. Actually, this is color. And for the navigation icon uh, color, this one would be the same. So let's copy this, paste it here. Okay, now for the navigation icon, that would be icon button. On a click, we will call on back click, and the icon itself would be painter resource, and we need to pass icon back arrow. Content description, I'll pass null. Now we wanted to add the action buttons, so let's do that. We can do that by actions, and here we're gonna just copy this, paste it here three times actually. And every time we're gonna change the icon. So in here we will make this icon bookmark. For this one, uh, we can actually remove this and use image vector instead. We can this icons default share. And here we wanna make this network. And that's it for this top app bar. Now we can just create preview function and we can call this details top bar preview. We can call uh, news app theme. And in here we can actually call our details to bar. And let me just show the background and create another one for the night mode. Let's go to the split mode to uh, preview that. Okay, so one thing is the the clicks here. We didn't call this, we didn't we didn't change them basically. So on book for this one on book mark click for this one on share click for this one on uh, browse click on a browsing click and for the background for the not preview. I'm not sure why it's not showing. Let's try to add a box here and give this. Uh, yeah, let's give this modifier background color. Material theme dot color scheme dot background and let's just wrap that. Let's see if that's gonna show now. And yep, this works. So, anyways, now we can go to our screen, or we have not created the screen yet. So let's do that. Let's create a composable function here called this detail screen. So 
So for this detail screen, we want to have the article. We want to expose an event and actually we have not created the event yet. Let's create a new class and call this details event. And let's make this seal the class. Then we're going to have one event here and that is the save article event. And let's close this and let's just pass that event. And here we want to have another parameter navigate up. Okay, now in here we are going to need the context. So let's get that here. And then we can have a column, fill max size. We want to add a stats bars padding, and then we can call the details to bar. Okay, so on a browse click in here, we're going to create an intent, an implicit intent and launch that. So we can say intent. And for the action here, so what we are trying to do is to view content, so we can pass that action, uh, action view, then we want to add the URL in this intent, we can call also, we can say add to data, and we can just use URI.parse, we can parse our article.url, then we want to check if there is an application that can handle this action. We can do that by if it dot resolve activity. We want to pass the package manager. We can get that from our context. And if that's not null, then we know that there's an activity or an application that can handle this uh, action. We can use context dot start activity, and then we can pass it. Now here, Android Studio gives us a warning because it requires us to add queries into our manifest file and that query is used to kind of limit the actions or to identify the actions that your app using. We can add that queries in here after the application block. Let's actually open queries and let's add intent. So for the first intent, the action is a view. So name view. And we also want to pass the category, which is just browsable. And we want to pass the data. Uh, let me just add the closing tag. And let's pass the data here. We want to pass a scheme. And this is HTTPS. And we are going to also have another intent, which is for the send. So for the share intent. And we can just call the action. Name is send or send loan like that now we can get back here and as you can see the warning is gone okay so on share click on share click we want to do the same magic so intent the action is send we can call also and here we want to add the content of the of what we are going to share so we can do that by put an extra into our intent and we can say intent dot extra text. And in here we can pass our article dot URL. So that's what we are going to share. Then we can say, uh, we can specify the type of this content. We can say text plan. And as we did in here, we can add this check and that's it for the share click. Now for the bookmark click, we can just call our event and we can say details event and we need to save that article. So let me just remove this and call the named argument here on back click equals to navigate up. Okay. Now we want to add the content of this article. So I want to make this part scrollable and that's why I'm going to create it inside the lazy column. So I will just create a lazy column here. Let's delete the content and let's add a modifier fill max with content padding, padding values, and we want to add from the start medium padding one. We want to add from the end and from the top. 
you know we can open curly brackets and we only gonna have one item and that is the rest of the screen so i make this scrollable so we can actually support all screen sizes so that's why i create this or i make this scrollable now in here we can just show the image with that with that article so we can create our image request we can call builder we need to pass the context and let's add the data which is article dot url to image then we can call build on that for the content description i'll pass null the modifier here let's actually fill the max width for the height i would give that article image height and we want to create that now so let's go to the diamonds file and let's make this 248 skip back here and let's import it and let's actually add db we want to add rounded corners to this so we can do that by clip we can call material theme shapes medium now don't forget to add content scale to crop and let's add spacer here height would be as always medium padding one and now let's add the title of that article the style is uh, display small the color is text title and let's import our okay i'm gonna copy this one and paste it for the description or for the content of that article so let's pass content here and let's call body medium for the style and let's call body for the color finally i'm going to create a preview function and let's call this details screen preview let's show the background and let's call our news app theme in here we're gonna call the details screen and for the article i'm just gonna copy and paste and here you go i just copied and paste and you can also just copy and paste from my github repository now let's click on split to preview our details screen and here you go so this looks as we expect let's launch this by clicking on this icon and just to make sure that these actions work so by the way this logo is just a bug so don't focus on that now let's try to click on this browsing icon and as you can see we were redirected to google chrome and for the url of this article now we can just keep reading this article if we click on okay what is this this should be the share icon not the search icon we'll fix that so as you can see now we can share this via different apps now let's just fix this search icon this one here this would be share and yeah so now as you can see the search icon the share icon shows here okay guys so that was all i wanted to show you in this video in the next video we are going to work on the room database and we're gonna build our room database and i'll show you how to do that in the next video and i'll catch you there